All right, guys, let's see what we have in store for today. Uh, so, start this thing, let's just disable the music, and I'm gonna go to the battle editor and add our new character here, the mage. He is very powerful. We can give him all kinds of weapons. Um, I'm just gonna give him this weapon right now. And he's gonna fight those skeletons there. Uh, let's just do it. So as you can see now, when you start the battle, the mage comes with this ball of uh, magic here, holding in his hand, and he can cast spells, uh, which is cool. But uh, the thing about it is that um, that could be animated, because right now it feels kind of dead. So how do you do that? So I'm going to show you how I did that and how you can do that. So I'm just going to copy it from another blueprint I was working on and paste it here. So first of all, for this one, I'm actually going to use the tick. Uh, and that's fine as long as it doesn't hit your performance. Just, just always make sure that whenever you add things to the tick, your performance doesn't drop. And then you just can use it. Although you should avoid it as often as possible. But in this case, I'm just going to do it the lazy way. So I'm just going to add a delay here. Uh, and that delay, I'm going to do 0 0.01. So that's the kind of counter. And I'm, every, every delay like that, I'm just going to increase my counter. So I need to add a counter variable. Uh, right now, I don't really have it. But if I paste it, or I can just add it like this. Look, look at that. I can just do this float. And I can just say counter. And now when I uh, compile it, it will compile. So I have my counter. I'm adding value of 3 to it every tick. I'm setting it. And then I'm doing the sign uh, on degrees. Uh, multiplying it by 0 0.1. Uh, doing the absolute value. And then I want to add a little bit of... Uh, value to it and then I'm setting the scale so like adding the value make sure that it doesn't scale to zero because it looks kind of silly this way also the the default scale of that sphere is 0 0.22 so if I want it to be the maximum scale I should probably increase this so then I'm gonna have minimum value of 0 0.11 and maximum value of 0 0.22 because this is going to get multiplied by the sign which is always going to return me away from 0 to 1 and that way I'm going to get this nice sinusoidal scale. I'm also adding a little bit of movement in uh, in Z. In fact maybe I can also add the movement in X. Let's see how that looks. And that's it basically. So now when I compile it when I play it, I just disable this music here. Um, let's see how it looks. So as you can see, it's uh, it's animating, and it's moving slightly. And I don't really know if I like how it's moving. Uh, maybe I don't want it to be changing so much, and that's fine. I can change it as well. Uh, so what I would probably do here is, if I don't want it to move that much, I'll uh, maybe just go 1. And if I want my default scale to be something small or something big, I'll just increase this, like 0 0.16. And then I'm just going to only modify uh, this by 0 0.06. And that way I have this, this is my base scale and this is the oscillating scale, basically. So if you sum it, you're going to get that 0 0.22, which I thought was a good value. Now here's the frequency. You could change the frequency as well. You want it to oscillate faster or slower. You can do two. That's going to be a little bit slower. Let's see how that looks now. So this is kind of like a procedural animation. Yeah, I think I like that much more. Um, all right, so, you know, it just shows you some basic uh, examples of how you could make things more alive if you don't have an animation, although normally we probably would want to have animation. Also, I'm not sure if you noticed this, but those characters are all having very slight oscillation on them, which makes them kind of feeling like they're breathing. 
there's the attack. There's still some work to be done on this attack. The explosion is wrong. The trail is wrong. Uh, but uh, yeah, we're getting there. Alright guys, hope that was helpful. Cheers.